Hello class, good evening, how are you? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Filomena, Carlos, Miguel, Brandon. I am so glad that you are here, guys. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? How was your day today? Excellent. Ah, congratulations. That it is nice to listen to you. Okay. And uh, Filomena, how was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy, Filomena? Hello, Filomena. Are you frozen? ¿Cómo estuvo el día, Filomena? Hola, Filomena. Se le congeló la imagen a Filomena por un ratito. Lilia, welcome. Blanqui, welcome. How was your day today? ¿Cómo estuvo el día hoy? Thank you, teacher. Okay. It was nice. And Filomena, your day, busy. Very busy. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Yes, I'm busy. Yeah, your day was busy. So you say, my day was very busy. Okay. Clelia, welcome. Okay, guys, it is the time to get started while the others join to the class. Okay. Uh, and here we go. Okay, I'm going to start sharing my PPT as every single day that we meet here in class. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to share with you. And here, okay, today is October 12th. Today is the Hispanic day, yeah? And here we go, okay? So today is October 12th, 2022. And we oh, know not so fast. Today is our video conference number seven. The first activity, greetings as every single day, right? We're going to have a short feedback, brief feedback of what we did yesterday. We're going to read the objectives. And today as the pre-task, you are going to be describing activities by using imperatives, okay? That is the structure for today, imperatives. And also the preparation task, you will be describing activities by using imperatives. And the very strong activity, the highlight is to describe activities by using, okay? Describe activities by using imperatives. And I expect to work today at page 22. So at the end, we're going to have the wrapping up of the class. For the objectives, one volunteer, please, to help me reading the objectives. Hello. Who wants to help me reading the objectives? Only one. You need to practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. No problem if you make a mistake. That is the way we learn, OK? Thank you, Carlos. Please begin reading. A specific objective. Participants will be able to describe activities by using imperative. Excellent. Very well. And class, the last class, class objective. Okay. Participants will be able to identify and use imperatives. Thank you so much. So class, as I told you at the beginning, in, when I was reading the agenda, you as participants will be able, okay, to describe activities by using imperative. And as Carlos read for you class, you will be able to identify, okay, to identify and use imperatives, to identify an imperative from a simple statement. And here again, a reminder for the homeworks and evaluations. Remember that in this section, you're going to take a midterm exam and the evaluations for every single day that we meet here in class. Is that okay? So remember, continue working on that. And again, a reminder for your full name in the camera, uh, camera on, 
durante toda la sesión la cámara se pide que esté encendida, a no ser que tenga algún problema con su internet, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible, porque recuerden que todo queda grabado, ¿verdad? Y todos los sonidos a nuestro alrededor aparecen en la grabación. Participación activa, como lo han hecho hasta el día de hoy, en los breakout rooms y también en el main session room, ¿ok? So here we have the attendance again class, asistencia al 100% de la clase, es lo que se espera, los 120 minutos de cada sesión, eh, se toma la asistencia como siempre, ya sabemos, dos veces en cada clase y se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir Here I am or present y tener la cámara on. Recuerden que estos videos son supervisados por Insaform. Ok, and here we are with sessions available, one on one session. Ok, after the class, I stay with one of you. The bottom, ok, mute, camera on, chat available via Zoom and via WhatsApp. In the breakout rooms, active participation. The button to ask for help is available and you need to show respect above everything. Y acá tenemos para la semana 2, ok? Sería el 14 de octubre, lo planificado, que se espera que todos lo tengan trabajado a la sección 2, ¿sí? And here we have a feedback. If you remember yesterday, you were practicing this conversation, yes? So I would like to have two volunteers in order to read this conversation class. Okay, one boy and one girl who wants to participate. Hi. Okay, huh, David, Emmanuel, thank you for joining. You're going to read John and Blanqui. You are going to read Anne, okay? To the count of three, you begin, guys. One, two, three, begin, please. Okay. How often do you check your email? Blanky? Microphone? Ah, uh, okay. Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it uh, as often as I can. I how often do you call do you call your client? I often call then once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their, their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first in, in the morning. In, I believe in, it is important to have contact with them all the time. No logro leer la última parte, Tisha. You are right. You are right. Ay. That is exactly. Okay. You, you are, are right. right. Okay. Are right. Thank you so much. Thank you for participating in that activity. Okay. Let me see here. Let's see. Okay. And now we continue with the feedback. Remember that you have that in your manual, right? Now it is the time for the teacher to talk. If you remember class yesterday, we were practicing with what do you do in your leisure time or your spare time or your free time. And you were answering, okay? These were just some ideas and you also used your own ideas, okay? The activities that you uh, do in your real life, yeah? There are some uh, activities that are not here, but you were putting them into practice because we were describing yesterday daily routines at work and at home. And we were using the, what were we using yesterday? Do you remember? We were using the frequency 
adverbs, yes? Okay, the frequency adverbs. And here, uh, but this is for today. So we're going to go over the feedback. Okay, here. Hello, Juan. Okay, we have this. If you remember, class, this is what I was telling you. This is a feedback, okay? We were working yesterday with the frequency adverbs. And here in this column, you have the frequency that correspond to each adverb. Always equals 100% of time that the activity is performed. Usually 90%. Normally 80%. Often 70% sometimes 50%, occasionally 30%, seldom 10%, hardly ever 5%, or rarely 5%, never zero times. If you remember class, you were working here and you were replacing these activities by your own activities, right? You were working in the breakout rooms. After that, as the manual, demands from you, I told you, complete a list of your activities you do in a regular week. But some of you work directly to this, to letter B. And I said, no, you have to go over letter A first and then letter B. Because here you were working also with your real information. You made it personal, lo hicieron personal. I always, for example, have English classes or take English classes in the weekdays. Yes, always. That is one sentence. Something that you do often, something that you do sometimes, something that you do hardly ever, and something that you never do. Yes, that was in your real life. And you share with your partners. Also here, if you remember, you were interviewing three classmates, yes? Almost at the end of the class, yeah? Do you remember this class? Yes? How often do you, and you created the questions, here you wrote the name of the classmate, and here the answer, his or her answer, yeah? Using the simple present tense in third person singular, right? Okay. And now here we go, okay? But before I go over here, I'm going to be checking, okay? Okay, Juan, thank you. Juan Ezequiel, welcome. Ah, Serafín is here, Nilton is here, Ana Verónica, thank you. I appreciate you are connected. Carmen Guadalupe, hello, we were missing you. Jonathan, hello, hello. And who else? Well, ah, Danny, hello, welcome. Jose Mejia is joining also. Thank you so much. William Francisco, I was missing you, okay. And I said, oh my God, only nine students. Okay, but you are here. Ivania, hello. So here, class, you are just in time in order to pay close attention to my explanation. So um, imperatives, but I'm going to start like this, okay? Let me see. Uh, Filomena, Filomena, do you listen to me? Hello. Okay, Filomena, touch the hammock. Touch the hammock. Touch the hammock. Toque la hammock. <laughs> okay, touch it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Carlos. Carlos. Carlos Miguel, do you listen hello. to me? Hello, hello. Okay, Carlos, say hello, class. Say, hel say hello, class. Ah, uh, hello, class. Thank you. Jonathan? Okay, Jonathan. Hello. Uh, could you stand up? Stand up? Jonathan, stand up? Okay, thank you so much. Great. Um, David Emanuel? 
David Emanuel. Okay, yes, take teacher. off your, your earphone, take off your earphone. Thank you, now put it back, put it back. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Nilton, stop smiling, be serious. Nilton, be, be, try to be serious, you have to be serious, okay? Be serious. Let me see. Okay, let's imagine that you are serious. Um, Serafin, take off your eyeglasses. Take off your eyeglasses. Put them on. Okay, thank you. Very well. Let me see. Uh, Juan, Juan Ezequiel. Juan, okay, take see. off your cap. Take off your cap. Take off your cap. Take off, take off, take off. Okay, put on, put on, put it on. Put on your cap. Okay, thank you. So those are imperatives or orders. So you're going to be working with that structure. If you know this class, I didn't say Philomena, please, blah, blah. no. An imperative is an order like a command, okay? So this is what we are going to be working right now. And here I'm going to share with you class, my PPT. So you start thinking about, okay? So um, imperatives. What do we have in here? I have here different groups of uh, imperatives. For example, sit down. Close the door, open the door, open the window, go to the board. Or open the door, close the door, open the window, close the window, go to the board, go to the door also, yeah. Go to the supermarket and buy um, a liter of milk. Keep silence, don't eat walk the dog, don't talk. If you notice here, in the yellow box, all of the imperatives are affirmative. But in this one, we have a mixture, affirmative and negative imperatives. Keep silence, okay, affirmative. Don't eat, negative. Walk the dog, affirmative statement. Don't talk, negative imperative. In the green box we have wash your hands, wash your mouth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, okay? Comb your hair, peinate el cabello, wash your face. In the purple box, eat the vegetables, says the mother. Don't eat candies, don't shout. Don't park here, okay? Don't smoke in the red box. Don't smoke. Look behind you. Sit up. You know the meaning of this expression? Sit up. Sit up. Siéntese bien. Siéntese recto. Yeah, because sometimes in, in school, if you remember, many people used to be like this, like this. At the desk, and teachers used to say, sit up. Siéntese bien. Okay? Sit up. Now wear a face mask. Yes, it is an imperative, a command, an order. Use a hand sanitizer. Yeah, it is another imperative. Okay, so I want you to notice that in all these sentences, you don't have a subject. Se fijan que en ninguna de estas expresiones u oraciones imperativas hay un sujeto de la oración. Yo nada más le dije a su compañero, take off your cap, quítese la gorra, yes, put it on, póngasela, yes, take off your eyeglasses, quítese los lentes, put them on, póngaselo, ya. Yeah? I said to Jonathan, stand up, póngase de pie, sit down. Pero no le dije, you, you sit down, you stand up. No, you don't say that. 
or you don't say uh, the name of the person. Or if there is a group of people, you say the name of the person, yeah? But generally, imperatives don't use a subject. Cuando utilizamos imperativos, no utilizamos sujeto de la oración porque se sobreentiende que va directamente hacia una persona, hacia ti. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. So I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp and get ready because you're going to be building imperatives. Ok. From here, 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 here. Okay, this one. This is the one. Okay, Jenny says later on she's going to be in class. And now what are you going to do? Do you have any question or comment class about the imperatives? It is not so difficult. Preguntas o comentarios sobre los imperativos o las oraciones imperativas? No. And now here, let's check ongoing activities at the workplace. Here, you're going to provide instructions for actions or activities in simple commands. But before we go over that, I need you to answer these questions. How often do you write memos? Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Necesito que me contesten estas dos preguntitas, ¿sí? Y luego la vamos a compartir en equipos. How often do you write memos? I always write memos. I sometimes write memos. I never write memos. I usually write memos. I rarely write memos, depending on your reality. Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? A menudo le das instrucciones u órdenes a tus compañeros de trabajo. Yes, I do or no, I don't, okay? Or sometimes, mm, rarely, never, okay? It depends on your reality. So when you are ready with the answers to these two questions, we are going to continue, okay? How often do you write memos? Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Okay, are you ready with the answers? Yes? Okay, since you Thank are you. ready. Yeah, ready, Carlos? Okay, ready. great, excellent. While you are answering, I'm going to take your first attendance, okay? And here we go. Hmm. Marlene? Uh, uh, espérate, voy a, Ana voy a Marlene? Ahí. Ana Marlene? Marlene? Absent. Hmm. Here, that And Ana Verónica? Hello, Ana Verónica. Pero Ana Verónica was here. But maybe she doesn't have. Uh... Okay, thank you, Edwin. Okay, Ana Veronica is absent. Brandon? Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Miguel? Present. Okay, great. And Carmen? Carmen. Present. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, thank you. Clelia. Present. Excellent. Dani, Daniel Alberto. 
Presentation. Thank you, sir. David Emanuel. Here I am, teacher. Edwin Roberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Ivania Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Jenny's Caroline, are you here or not yet? Okay, she said that she is in her way. Jonathan? Present. Thank you. Jose Dimas? Jose? Jose Dimas? Not yet. Okay. Jose Dimas, not yet. Jose Manuel? Present, teacher. Great, thank you. Jose Mario? Not yet. Oh, yes, yes, he is always, forever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Juan Ezequiel? Hello, teacher. Hello, Present. thank you. I appreciate your attendance so much. Great. Marlene? Marlene, are you here or not yet? Because she said she was going to be in her way. Nilton? Present. Thank you. Serafin? Thank you. William, Francisco. William Francisco Flores Murillo. William Francisco Flores Murillo. Thank you. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Thank you. Filomena Luz. Present, teacher. Great. Alexandra, Alejandra Michel. Not yet. Okay. Beatriz is absent. Noé. Absent. Okay. Thank you. And now, class, that you are ready with your answers to these two questions. Okay. Remember the questions. We are working in the manual at page 22, okay? So everybody get ready with the manual. How often do you write memos? How often do you write memos? You ask and answer this question. Do you often give instructions to other coworkers? Yes, I do or no, I don't, okay? So here we get ready. Okay, five minutes the most for the activity. So go to your groups and ask the two questions. Take turns. Everybody has to ask. No es que yo le voy a preguntar a todos los del equipo. No, yo le pregunto a Blanqui. Blanqui le pregunta a Serafín. Serafín le pregunta a Carlos. Carlos le pregunta a Clelia. Clelia me pregunta a mí y yo le pregunto a Blanqui. Okay, here we go. Go to your groups, please, and ask and answer the questions, okay? Go to your groups and ask and answer the questions. Please. Clelia in group number one, please. William, Francisco, I need you in group number two if you are so nice. Thank you, William. William Francisco Flores Murillo, go to group number two. William, 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 go to group number two, please. William Francisco, we need you in group number two. William Francisco Flores, thank you. Ahora, Yo me pregunta, yo les pregunto. Usted le pregunta a un compañero y el, el, ese compañero le hace la pregu las preguntas a otro y así, ¿verdad? Cada quien tiene que practicar la pronunciación de las preguntas y las respuestas, ¿ok? okay. okay. Esa es la idea. Bye. Um, if you wish, you can take a screenshot. Okay, I'm going to share it with you. 
si gustan le toman una screenshot lo que pasa es que vaya, acá permitan yo lo copié teacher lo que tenía ah ok great if you want to take a screenshot feel free to do it ok Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Now begin asking and answering. For example, Juan ask Brandon, Brandon ask William, and William ask Juan. Okay. The idea is that all of you practice the pronunciation of the questions and the answers. Bye. Okay, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, memos. Ok. ¿Qué me pregunta a mí? Eh, ¿A dónde están? No lo, no lo miró. Eh, sí, ahí está number pregunta? one y number one. De tus questions. Ahí hay dos preguntas correctísimas. El ejercicio number one. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, teacher, como estoy yo con móvil, tengo que estar. Ah, ok, la... so sorry. Ah, yes, Edwin. Yeah. Ok, so sorry. Continue, please. Ok. How, who, how often do you write? Yeah, yeah. Somebody was evoking me. Hey, los tres Hello. compañeros está, y compañeros nuevamente. That's why you are so happy. Sí. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Sí. Teacher, verdad que solo eran las dos preguntas. Yes, only the two questions. Sí. But the idea is that you practice saying the questions, for example, to Carlos and Carlos ask to Ivania and Ivania ask. Porque la idea es que practiquen la pronunciación de las preguntas y la respuesta, ¿verdad? Pero si okay. uno hace las preguntas a todos, solamente una persona practica <coughs> las questions, ¿ok? Yeah. Ready, okay. finished. Wow. You yes. are amazing. Wow. You are really amazing, ¿ok? Give me 10 seconds, please. Okay, did you finish asking and answering the, the two questions? Yes. Yes, teacher. ¿A quién le preguntó Blanqui? A Jonathan. ¿Y Jonathan a quién le preguntó? A Filomena. ¿Y Filomena a quién le preguntó? A mí. Ana Marlene Ana. todavía no porque acababa de... de ah, ya, yeah, she is, she is, yeah, uh, just estaba, arriving home. Estaba. Okay, very well. So, ah, hello, Jonathan. You Hi. have your pet. We can see your pet, your bird pet. Podemos ver su mascota. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you have a, a companion. Okay. So, uh, since everybody is done, we're going to move to the break, uh, to the main session room, sorry, so we can continue with the next activity. Okay. Thank you for your participation, class. Okay. 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 Mm, there is one group, Brandon, Juan Ezequiel, and William, they are still there. Okay, microphones, please, off. Microphones off. Okay, thank you. I appreciate if you, okay, thank you. And here, okay. The question goes to Serafin. Serafin, how often do you write memos? I never write memos. I never okay. write memos. Okay, now I never write. Serafin, you ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Uh, um, let me see. Um, Blanca Luz. Okay, Blanqui. 
Okay. How often do you do you write memos? I usually write memos. Very well. Now, Blanky, you choose your victim and ask the question. Serafine, uh, the okay. microphone. Okay. Yes, Miss uh, Blanqui. A Carlos Miguel. Okay, Carlos Miguel, get ready with your answer. Ready, how, ready. Often, uh, how often do you write memos? I occasionally write memos. Very well. Now, Carlos, ask the question to another partner. Um, Daniel. Danny, get ready. Hello. How often do you write memos? I normally write memos. Thank you. Now, Danny, ask the question to another classmate. Uh, Anna Marlene. Marlene, oh, are you ready? Thank you. Yes. Uh, also, do you write memos? I usually write memos. Thank you. Now, Marlene, you are going to ask to another classmate the second question. Okay, you choose the victim. The second it, question, okay, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? This is the question, Marlene. Do okay, you often it. give instructions to other co-workers? And the question goes to? Clelia. Clelia. Hello. Okay. Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? No, I don't. Okay, now Clelia, ask that question to another partner. Para Filomena. Filomena. Do you, often, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Yes, I do. Okay. Now you, Filomena, ask the question to another partner. Uh, David and Manuel. Okay, David, get ready. <laughs> do you often we instruction? Give, give, give. Give, uh -huh. give instruction. Do you often Co-worker? Yes, I do. I usually give it through the instruction to my co-workers. Okay, now David, ask the question <clears throat> to another classmate. Uh, okay, veamos uh, Serafín. No, he answered no. the question. He was the first one. Otro. And Serafín, Otro. like that. <laughs> Very popular, Serafín. Okay. I will hold. I will hold. Ah, pues, a Nilton. 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 Okay. How often do you write memos? Uh, I sometimes, uh, ah, la, número uno. No, the second one. The second, okay, la uno escuché, yo estoy mal. Tiene que ser la segunda. Do you often give instructions to your co-workers? Uh, I sometimes uh, give introduction to other co-workers instructions now you ask that question to another classmate oh uh, juan juan do you often give introduction instruction to your other co-workers i never okay thank you now juan read that question for carmen Okay. Do you often give instruction uh, to often co-working? No, I don't. Okay. Thank you so much. 
now for the people who give instructions, how is the way that you give instructions to your coworkers? You say, print those papers, bring me those boxes. Así le dicen. Imprime estos, estos documentos. Así dicen. ¿Cómo le dicen a sus compañeros cuando, cuando, cuando les dan las instrucciones? Answer this mail. Así le dicen. Así dan las instrucciones. Hello. Sí. No, te a mí no me hacen caso. No, no me hacen caso. Dice. Ajá. O dicen, por favor, imprima Please esto. Print. Ay. Are you sure? Ok, ahora vamos a establecer la diferencia. Y ya vamos a ver. Ok, that is why I'm asking you. And here we go. Ok, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Marcia and Luke, those are the characters in this conversation, but no matter because they don't mention their, their names. So, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am is for uh, señora, pero sin apellido. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns, okay? So we have here, ma, we say Mrs. Galvez. We say Mrs. Olmedo, la señora Olmedo, la señora Galvez, porque estoy usando el apellido. Pero cuando no usamos el apellido para una señora, por respeto también, aunque no sea señora casada, le decimos ma, ¿verdad? Y para un caballero decimos Mr. Rivera Lemus, Mr. Mineros. Pero ¿qué sucede cuando no utilizamos, fíjense bien chicos, um, cuando no utilizamos el apellido para un caballero, decimos Sir. Y es Sir, Good morning, Sir. Okay. Understood, Sir. Y es Sir. Over here, sir, por aquí, señor, yes. Entonces, ma'am, señora, cuando no decimos el apellido, no mencionamos el apellido de la eh, persona, ¿sí? De la señora o señorita. En muchas ocasiones, ma'am, se dice por respeto. Y es ma'am, sí, señora, ¿ok? Aunque en realidad no esté casada la persona, pero por respeto. Y sin usar el apellido, sir, para un caballero. Señor, sin mencionar el apellido, porque si mencionamos el apellido ya usamos Mr. Mr. Portillo, or in the case of a lady, Mrs. Y el apellido de la señora, ¿sí? ¿Estamos claros hasta acá? Yes? Ok. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, right away, in este momento, in this moment. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go, okay? Give me one of those memo stickers, uh, please. Here you go, okay? Acá está, acá lo tiene. Sure, here you go. Aquí está. Aquí lo tiene. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, now I need two participants to model the conversation for the class. Okay, Juan, you're going to be Luke. And I need a lady to read uh, Marcia. Hello. How do you pronounce in the first Please, please uh, send this package. This package. Esta es una I corta. Entre uh, E e I. This. Okay? Porque el plural es these. Estos, pero este es this. Una I corta. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Okay. And the lady who's going to read Marcia, Ivania. Uh, 
Yes. Okay, yes. Ivania, thank you. You begin and Juan Ezequiel reads Luke. To the count of three, guys. One, two, three. Please send this back, back edge. Yes, ma'am. Do you need a need uh, else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right, always. Uh, why me on of uh, does a memo sticker, please? Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Great. Now I'm going to read one more time and then two other partners. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Two more participants. One lady and one boy. Let me see the two volunteers. I'm going to choose the two volunteers then. Okay, Danny, you're going to read Luke. And the lady, the girl. Mm. Okay, Carlos, you're going to read the, 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 the other partner, yeah? Danny, you begin. Yes. Danny? Yes. Begin reading. Please send this package. Please send this package. Carlos? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am. Mm -hmm. yes, Mom. Mom. Mm -hmm. Do you need any anything else? Actually, yes, please. Write a memo about the next that is for the general meeting. Right away. Uh, give me one give me one of those memo stickers, please. Shuruhi, Shuruhi, Shuruhi. Or and look, please supervisor the meet teacher. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So remember, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Um, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Send, write, give, write away. Actually, yes. Actually, en realidad, sí. Do you need anything else? Necesita algo más? Actually, yes. En realidad, sí. Actually doesn't mean actualmente, no, no, no. It means en efecto, de hecho, en realidad. En realidad, sí. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away, in este momento. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Give me one, give me one, no one. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Uh, uh, and look, please supervise, supervise the new interns. Absolutely. What are you going to do? You know what to do and how to do it, right? You are going to read this conversation as it is, okay? The way it is, you switch roles and later you replace these names by your real names. And one more thing, class. For example, please send this package. Or you may replace, replace, please send this. What would you say? Please send this email. Or please send this, what else? This box, yeah? Please send this. ¿Por qué otra palabra sustituirían ustedes package? 
document. This document, yes. And then you continue, okay, with the same conversation. So first thing, you read the conversation as it is. Then you switch roles. When you have switched roles, you replace these names by your names and you replace this part, okay? Van a sustituir esta parte también cuando ya lo hagan personal. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? ¿Preguntas? No questions. Right now, only on the conversation. Focus on pronunciation, please, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar únicamente la conversation. Nos focalizamos en la conversación. And if uh, you want to take a screenshot, please feel free to take the screenshot. Okay. Ready. Ready. But you have the manual. Okay. And right now, let's see. Oh, I have one more student, I think. So I'm going to recreate this thing because. Mm, Let me see, four, 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 and three, three, three. Okay, remember to take turns. Everybody needs to read the uh, two characters. Here we go. Go to your groups. And, okay. I sent you the invitation. Go to your groups. Uh-huh, Ana Marlene, Jose Mejia, I need you in group number three, Jose Mejia. Edwin, please go to group number four. Edwin, do you listen to me? Marlene, go to your group. Oh, Marlene, you have two devices. Okay, Edwin, go to your group. Marlene está en dos, en dos dispositivos, la voy a enviar al, al mismo al equipo número cuatro, ¿ok? Marlene, le voy a enviar de nuevo la invitación al equipo cuatro. Ok. Ok. Edwin, I need you in group number four, please. Edwin, Edwin. Edwin, are you here? Y Marlene también al equipo cuatro. Anything. Mm. Okay. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Write away. Write, write, write away. Write away. Write away. Jimmy, one on those memo sticky bits. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oiganme, chicos, Ana Marlene se acaba de unir. Ella estaba teniendo problemas con la conexión, pero ya está acá. Eh, Edwin también se supone que va a estar en este equipo, pero está teniendo también problemas por, con la conexión. Parece que que en algunos lugares está lloviendo fuerte, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, integran a Ana Marlene y lo que les quiero decir es esto, miren. Uh, please, uh, here, give me one of those memo stickers. Give me one of those memo stickers. Ok, de hecho, Edwin, lo voy a enviar mejor al equipo. Cinco, porque ya se me han quedado con dos. Nada más por el problema de las conexiones, ¿verdad? Ok. Mm -hmm. So okay. now practice with Anna Marlene, okay? Okay. So, bye. Remember, but you have to switch roles. Tienen que intercambiar roles, ¿verdad? Y luego yes. personalizarlo. Okay. Yes. Practice pronunciation as much as possible, please, okay? Uh, hola, hola. Hello, hello, Serafín. I don't see you, but I listen to you. 
Uh, Edwin is here. He is part of the team now. Carmen and Serafín, Edwin is here. Edwin es okay. parte de este equipo. Entonces, eh, lo integran, por favor, para que practiquen la conversación. Sí. Bueno, sí, sí. Ok. See sí, okay. you. Ok. Puedo empezar yo entonces. Este, please send this document. Puedo copiar lo de Clele. <laughs> Ezequiel. Ok, yes, mister. Do you need anything else? Actually, actually, yes. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right, all way. Right away, right all away. Way. Right away, okay. Give me all, all, all. Mm, no, no, give me one, give me give one. one. Give me one of the memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Ezekiel, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Uh, teacher, ya, ya practicamos este, porque dice que Jonathan que tiene problema con el audio, porque no. A ver, te Pero lo vamos a con, repasar otra vez nosotros. Con Clelia, con David y Juan, sí, ya, ya conversaron, practicaron el original. Eh, y ya de un solo y, con cambios también, dicho. No, pero intercambiaron roles en el original también. No. Ah, tienen que no, intercambiar roles, no roles en el en el ah, okay. ajá, y luego también en el ya en el en el que personalizan intercambian roles para que todos puedan practicar todas las estructuras, ¿de acuerdo? Right, entonces okay. ahí vamos otra vez los, los tres con roles ajá, diferentes. Right? Sí, y cuando Jonathan esté disponible, pues se les va a unir, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. De acuerdo, teacher. Thank you. Ahí, don, ahí donde dice, do you need uh -huh. anything? Anything else? ¿Necesita anything algo más? Else. Do you need anything else? Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes. Ten, teníamos una duda. How do you pronounce packet? Esto, packet. Package. 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 Porque vean que está compuesto acá la palabra. Miren, pack. Age. Age significa la palabra solita, edad. Age. Pack. El paquete. Package. Paquete cerrado. Package. Package. Ok. Then here, uh, right away, right away. Do you need anything else? Necesita algo más? Anything. Anything, anything else. Anything else. Vaya aquí donde dice también orden. Eh, general, general. Miren. Miren. Dice que algunos decían negativas. Eh, 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 La doble E eh, se pronuncia como I. Eh. Ajá. Miren, miren. Miren. la parte esta. Entonces, como usted se está incorporando con nosotros, vamos a practicar una vez más la conversación tal cual está y después la cambiamos. Ok. 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 Eh, voy a empezar yo con Marcia y usted va a hacer look. Eh, please send this picture. Package. Excellent package. Okay. Yes, ma, ma, I, do you need a needing else? Anything, else? any, no, do you need anything else? Do you need any else? Anything? Anything else? else. Uh -huh. Anything else? Yes. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of the of of, of those of those memo sticker, please. 
Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay. And switch roles. Yes. Okay. Ahora usted va a ser Marcia y yo voy a ser Luke. Y luego lo personaliza. Okay. Okay. Please send this packet. Budget. Package. Package. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Here you go on a uh, look, please, supervisor, the new item. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. Um, okay. Edwin. Hola. Le voy a compartir a Carmen. Carmen y Edwin, necesito que lean. Please read this conversation for me. Okay, uh, Carmen, you begin. Edwin. Hi. You, you, you read Luke. You are Luke, Edwin, okay? Okay, begin, okay, okay. Carmen, begin, Carmen. Okay. Please send this, this page. Package. Package, perdón. Mm -hmm. Teacher, how do you pronounce um, anything? Anything. Anything, okay. Anything yes, else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right, away. Right. Give me one of two tools, memo. A sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Now switch roles. You begin, uh, Edwin, and Carmen continues. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need a meeting else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new that for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go on and uh, looks, please supervisor the new items. Absolutely. Absolutely. La fuerza de voz al principio en la primera sílaba. Absolutely. And here, actually, 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 actually. Uh, write a memo about the new date, la nueva fecha, okay. the new date for the general meeting, okay? The new date for the general meeting. Do you need anything else? Esto nos dicen en las uh, department stores, in the restaurant, wherever we go and get a product or a service. Do you need anything else? Necesita algo más? Puedo ayudarle con algo más? Do you need anything? Anything else? Do you need anything else? Esta expresión va juntita. Do you need anything else? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please send this package. Please send this package. Okay. Please send this package. Memo stickers. Give me one. Give me one. Okay. And now uh, I ask you, class, did you personalize it? Ya lo hicieron personal. Serafín, yeah. yes. Yes. Y Edwin también. Ya lo personalizó. No, teacher. Ok. No, entonces, vaya, entonces trabajen en la personalización y no se olviden de que don Mr. Constanza needs to practice a lot too. Ok. The idea right now is to practice pronunciation. Ok. Bye. Okay. Very well done, class. Continue, please.
finished. Finished. And did you personalize it? Yes. Yes. Personalizar. And you switch roles in the two situations? Intercambiaron roles en las dos situaciones? Yes. Yes. Okay. I would like to listen to Jose Mario and William Francisco reading the same conversation in the in the in the manual. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and William, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Now, Mr. Umaña Lobo and Mrs. Salgado. Okay. Please send a French package. 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 Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, just please write a memo about the new then for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of two memo sticker, please. Mommy. Sure. Mommy, uh, mommy. You go on and look, please supervise. The new inters. Absolutely. Okay. Excellent. Very well. Now let's get back to the main session room. Congratulations. You did a pretty good job. Remember, actually, actually, package, anything. Do you need anything else? Okay. Memo stickers. Let's get back. Let's wait for the other groups because there are some teams still working. But anyways, they are in their way back. Okay, everybody's back. Thank you. Great super champions. You have a good uh, pronunciation and conversation practice. Congrats. And that is the way that we learn, okay? Practice. Practice makes perfect. And now we scroll, scroll, and scroll. Here, exercise three. Before you go over exercise three, I'm going to read this information class. Commands. The definition of this word commands. Commands are direct instructions or orders to do something. Esa es la definición de una command, okay? Use please plus the command to sound more polite para que se escuche una orden más suave, más cortés, más amable, utilizamos la palabra please, the magic word, okay? Please place an order for more boxes. Call the supervisor, please. Notice this, please place an order for more boxes. When it goes at the beginning, you just write please and the command, but 
when the word please goes at the end, first you say or write the command, you insert a comma and the word please. Se fijan la diferencia. Cuando al inicio utilizamos la palabra please, no utilizamos ninguna coma ni ninguna puntuación hasta el final. Pero cuando utilizamos la palabra por favor al final, antes de la palabra please, vamos a ubicar una coma. ¿Sí? Ok. Now class, you have to do this. Exercise three. Figure it out. Complete the following conversation or, sorry, commands. Use the conversation above as reference. Number one, two, and three, okay? I need you to complete these three commands. Considering the information that you have in this conversation, okay? One minute to do it. And later we're going to double check. Finished. Yes. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, here we go, class. In number one, what do we need to write? A memo about the new dates. Okay. Let's complete the command. What do we need to write over here? Mm -hmm. Right. Please write. Okay. Please write a memo about the new date. Number two, me one of those stickers. Okay. Write away gift. No, the, no, right away is a spontaneous answer. Ah, the give. 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 Uh -huh. give. Give one. Give, 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 only give. In this case, only give without the word, okay? Give. And the last one? Super supervise. supervise. Please supervise. Please supervise. Okay, please supervise. So here we have. Please write a memo about the new date. Give me one of those stickers. Please supervise the new interns, okay? Notice here, write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. That is correct, absolutely correct. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Excellent. Supervise the new interns. Another truly an original command. Si comenzamos desde el verbo que está aquí en bold, remarcado, hacia el resto de la command, perfecto, es el command original, el imperativo, ¿verdad? El imperativo, pero para suavizarlo y volverlo más cortés y amable, usamos please, yes. ¿Cómo se sienten ustedes más cómodos cuando les dan una instrucción a un compañero de trabajo? Cuando utiliza la palabra please o solamente les da la indicación. Solamente no. le dice el imperativo. No, cuando te lees a please. Obviously, yeah, because it is more polite. Otherwise, you say, hmm, she thinks she's the boss. Ella cree que es la jefa, dicen muchos, ¿sí? O él Porque cree que es el jefe. Por favor, no lo hago. 
correcto. En muchas ocasiones eso suele suceder. Da evasiva. Sí, ya lo voy a hacer, pero no lo hace, ¿sí o no? Porque eh, a muchas personas no les gusta el tono, ¿sí? Entonces, ahí para volverlo más amable, más suave, más cortés, utilizamos please at the beginning or at the end, al inicio o al final de la imperative order. Recuerden la posición. Please, cuando va al inicio, no necesita ninguna puntuación en la, en la oración, pero sí cuando va al final. Antes de please, si va al final, utilizamos una coma, ¿ok? Questions or comments? No questions. Ok, class, here we go. How to use commands to order or tell someone to do something? ¿Cómo usar los imperatives or commands para ordenar o decirle a alguien que haga algo? Esta palabra ordenar suena como muy agresivo, ¿sí? Muy fuerte. Pero ¿qué tal si? Please. Commands. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to a meeting. Yeah? It is nicer. Es mucho más um, nice to your ears. Mucho más amable para sus oídos. Okay, now, what are you going to do right now? Think about the activities that are held in your, in your workplace, okay? Ubíquense en las actividades que eh, se desarrollan en sus puestos de trabajo y ustedes van a escribir como equipo, van a generar 10 imperative sentences, okay? And you decide if they are going to be polite or only imperatives. Van a decidir si vamos a utilizar la palabra please or not. Is that okay? A list of 10 commands. Estamos claros sobre la actividad. Yes? Repeat, please. <laughs> As a team, como equipo, en los breakout rooms van a generar 10 commands or imperative sentences u oraciones imperativas, pero en relación a los, las actividades que realizamos en el trabajo, ¿sí? ¿Cuáles okay. son estas actividades? ¿Qué nos piden usualmente en el trabajo? Print those papers. Genera un reporte. Ah, ok. Please generate a report and so on. Ok, so in group, one report. Ok, one, una lista de 10 uh, imperative sentences or commands as a group. Solamente van a generar 10 como equipo, ¿de acuerdo? No individual, como equipo. Y luego las vamos a compartir acá. ¿Está ok? Ok, sí, teacher. Ok, let me see if everyone is here. Ok. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Okay. Go to your groups, please. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups. Join your groups and create your commands. Jose Mario. Okay, William, Francisco, I need you in group number one. And Carmen, okay, William. William, Francisco, I need you in group number one. William, Francisco, thank you. Hello, everyone. Ready? Ready. Okay, great. You are super champions. Do it. Go for it. Okay. William Francisco is here. Filomena, Jose Mario, and Carlos Miguel. Okay. Hey, Jose Mario, did you finish the activities in the platform for week one? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank the you. Last nine. Okay, I'm going to update it. 
Ok, le vamos a actualizar entonces. Ok, bye bye. 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 Bueno, ahorita comienzo. Okay. Uh -huh. Va, por ejemplo, aquí este Ezequiel ya tiene una. Él acaba de decir, pero no la escuché bien. No, ni yo no la escuché muy bien. Sí, ya. Este, Ezequiel, ¿puedes repetir el reporte? Call supervisor. Please, Sergio. Please call supervisor. Please, uh -huh. Please perdón, sorry. Please call. <laughs> The supervisors. The supervisors. Okay. okay. Please call. Call de llamar. No, no me las tienen que escribir no. ahí. No, 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 no. Esa es otra actividad. Tienen que eh, ser 10 so... actividades que van a generar. Ajá. No, esa todavía no hemos llegado ahí. Okay. La, la, la vamos a copiar aparte, teacher. Sí, mm, sí. Ajá. En una hoja de Word puede ser, sí. Pero ah, no okay. es, eso no es, no, no va en ese espacio todavía, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ahí sería call, porque llamar a los clientes. Ah, ah okay. que sí, llamar. Call, call, call. Client. call de clients. Ajá, call, ajá, call de clients. De client. Excellent, congratulations. Ah, oh, sí, verdad. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Call client. Please call client. Siempre okay. le vamos a ir agregando el please o solo la comanda así de. Listen, class, in the uh -huh. first one, please write check. ¿Qué, qué, what do you tenemos, do here? tenemos duda en ese teacher porque es escribe cheques, elabora cheques, pero de. Elaboro... Permítanme, ustedes son el equipo, cuatro. ¿qué equipo son? Cuatro, vaya, entonces les voy a asignar a Verónica. Uno, dos, tres, cinco van a ser, ay, mejor la hubiera enviado a otro grupo, porque ustedes ya, ya, cuando esté aquí la voy a Bueno, aquí que quede Verónica. Eh, estábamos, sí, porque write the check o write a check, ¿ya? Yeah. Write yes. a check. Uh -huh. Write a check. Uh -huh. Because it is one check. Organize oh, okay. a meeting, please. Send a report, please. Please call. Client. The clients. The clients. The clients. Uh -huh. um, y recuerden que Verónica está acá con ustedes, ¿verdad? En yes. Este... Ok, bye. 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 ¿Y le podemos agregar algo ahí? Ahí eh, sería... You can help me... Uh... No, no, porque es una, es una imperativa. Es un, una orden la que usted está dando. Entonces, you can help no. Orden. Entonces no tendría que... Usted, llevar... puede, usted sí puede agregarle el please, pero no could you. Porque ahí le está pidiendo, podrías. Ya no es command. Uh, Ajá. Entonces, ¿cuál era su idea? Serafín, dígala y la vamos a reorganizar. Eh, eh, idea, eh, la idea era así como, ¿me puedes ayudar, por favor, a, qué, a sacar unas fotocopias, por decir algo? Ah, no. Make these copies, please. Make, Make. these copies. Ya, yeah. in plural. These copies. Like this. Sí. Photocopy, ¿verdad? ¿Se puede también? Ya. Yeah. Make this uh, copies, please. Si no, no le va a sacar las copias si no le dice please. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that usually happens. Make okay. these copies, please. Y, y otra que tengo, mis, eh, ahí, eh, otra era open the door, please. Ok, así? yes, open the door, please. Or close the door, please. Close, close the door, please, yes. A veces uno ya va cargado con algo, de un expediente, si yeah. no puede abrir la puerta. Entonces, yes. una manera de pedir que le abra uh -huh. la puerta. Open the door, please. Or please open the door, open the door. yeah. Ok. Ah, pues. Teacher, y esto se escucha bien. Go to the warehouse, please. Excuse me, repeat, say that again. Go to the warehouse, please. 
go to the room house, please. Yes, that's okay. Okay, make, make this copies, please. Okay. Oh, sit down, sit down. Cuando le dice una señorita, sit down, sit down. Sit down, please. Siéntese. No. Sit up. Sit up, siéntese bien, por favor. Siéntese bien. Sit up, sit up. Siéntese bien a una señorita, también a un caballero. Porque si está todo así, que está como más dormido que despierto, sit up. Please, sit up. Please, sit up, siéntese bien. And if you are in a meeting and there are people who are, you know, Please sit up. Okay, por favor, siéntense bien. ¿Ya? Pero en el español, al, al decirle a alguien así, siéntase bien, por favor. No se oye Ajá. muy corto. ¿Cómo no? Por favor, siéntese bien. Mm, ok. Ya, yeah, because people like to be like this. Ya. Yeah. <risa> Pero esta yes. es la que no hay que ponerle mis. Uh, si es no, 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 porque no llevan sujeto las oraciones. Okay. Esta es la característica de las imperativas o commands. Si yo okay. le digo, uh, keep silence, guarde silencio, ya se sobreentiende que es hacia una persona en directa. Ya el sujeto le llamamos tácito, porque ya se sobreentiende que es you, porque me estoy dirigiendo a usted, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Ok, mm -hmm. entonces Eso no es llevamos un, sujeto. Es un shock directo, como dicen. Sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. That, that is a good way. Okay. okay. Yeah. Continue, that please. Is. Okay. Bueno, Excellent. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Ah, oh, no. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Write, no. Write report without S. Porque write the report. Uh -huh. Write uh -huh. the report. Without S, sin la S. Y no le van a poner el please. Todas van a ser órdenes directas. <risa> Ninguna va a ser suave, polite, uy, no le van a hacer la actividad, please, ok. No van a hacer caso. Ajá, right uh -huh, ya. Yeah. Because that usually happens, right? Usualmente sucede que cuando no va la palabra, por favor, no nos dicen. Please write the report. Recuerden que al final siempre le agregamos un punto final para indicar que la oración está completa, ¿de acuerdo? Call to the customer. Call to the customer, okay. coma. Call to the customer, coma, please. Coma, 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 not period. Coma, please. Punto final. Acá. Ok. Sí, porque la puntuación matters. Punctuation matters. Send mail or send the email. Send the email. Email. Uh -huh. Check the email, please. Coma, please. Okay. Uh, program a meeting, uh, maybe uh, book a meeting or schedule a meeting. Schedule. Uh -huh, schedule a meeting. Or uh, book program, a meeting. Program a schedule a meeting. No. No. Schedule a meeting. Schedule. Es que schedule no es program. programar. No. No, no escriba la palabra program. Schedule. Horario, pues. Mm, what do you spell sí. special? Ok, sí. Es sí. Sí. No, sí. Sí. Es y y. Sí. A, B, C. Sí. Sí. Ajá. H. H. Y, sin elephant. Y, ajá, D, U, L, I. 
Make a sales report. That's okay. Make a sales report. Yes. Oh, send the individual goals to staff. Emperor, please. Yes. Yes. Sound more polite. Supervise the employees. Okay, remember that the please can go at the beginning or at the end. The beginning. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> please supervise the employees, okay? Go to, to the conference, go to the conference. Déjela así, go to the conference. Porque así tienen las tres opciones, ¿verdad? Go to the conference, go to the, to the, go to the. Mm -hmm. Final stop, at the end, final stop. Punto final. Okay, and the last one is for you, okay? See you in two minutes. Finish class. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, great. Ready? You, I need you to choose one representative to read the sentences in the main session room, okay? Un representante yes, tiene que seleccionar para ver quién lo va a leer allá en el main session room. Okay, bye. Oh, let's see. Please yeah. read the documents. Ah, y estas oraciones no sirven ninguna. Está buena. <laughs> ¿Por qué? <laughs> no tiene punto final. Ay, no, teacher. No, sí, <laughs> el que es de la plataforma. Es incorrecto gramaticalmente. Pero no había resultado. Y miren, en la número tres, please del delivery checks. No, deliver. Sin la Y. Okay. Deliver. Mm -hmm. Solo con okay. deliver. Ajá. Deliver. Deliver, porque este es el verbo y ustedes lo estaban haciendo con el nombre o sustantivo. Please organize meetings. Please clean the office. Please check the social media. Please write the report. Visit the clients, please. Okay. Please print documents. Please take pictures. Pictures. En plural. Miren, acá, please, se los ha marcado en azul porque le han escrito la P mayúscula y no tiene. Sí, más. Yeah, sí. correct. Okay. Y acá también los verbos van en minúscula. Miren, deliver, organize, clean. Por eso está en rojo. Please send your support. Please call the clients. Ajá. Please deliver. Tiene que ser con minúscula también. Ok, mm -hmm. ya listos. Tienen que seleccionar one representative to read your work in front of the class, ok. Tienen que seleccionar un representante para que lea su actividad en la clase. Random. Oh. <laughs> ok. Hello, class. Okay. Hello, teacher. Answer the email, please. Make coffee, please. Uh -huh. Okay, listen, I need you to choose one representative in order to read your sentences in front of the class, okay? So make okay. that decision. See you in one minute. No. Don't shout. Don't shout. No shout. grite, no gritar, <gasps> no grite, no gritar in the hospital or in the library. En la biblioteca, oh, don't shout, no. don't talk, ¿ya? Yeah? Don't the shout the office, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Don't yeah. shout in, the office. In the office, or don't shout to the partners, no le grite a los compañeros, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok, don't especially, especially the, the in, the, in, the, in the virtual, in the virtual space, porque como no llega acá, sentimos, ok. Don't Ready, shout the, the teacher. Dice, 
Yeah, nobody, nobody. Now listen, I need you to choose one representative to read the sentences in front of the class, okay? Tienen que seleccionar a un representante para que lea las oraciones en frente de la clase. Ready? Sus Ready. oraciones. Okay, let's get back. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuántas? Okay, class, I'm going to, to call your names for the second attendance. Okay, teacher. Okay, but let's wait for the other partners, okay? Let me see. Mm, one group is still working, but they are in their way back. Here we go. Hi, Vero. Ana Marlene, Marlene. Hello, Ana Marlene. Marlene, hello, Ana Marlene, Ana Marlene. Marlene. Marlene is absent. Ana Marlene. Ana Verónica. Thank you, Ana Verónica. Brandon, hello, Brandon. Thank you. Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present. Thank you. Carmen. Present. Thank you, Miss Carmen. Clelia. Present. Dani. Present. David Emanuel. Present. Edwin. Present. Thank you, sir. Ivania. Present teacher. Jenis, Jenis Caroline. Okay, here. Thank you. Jonathan. Here I am. Jose Dimas. Jose Dimas was absent today. Okay. Jose Manuel Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Mario. Absent Jose Mario. Present teacher. <laughs> Forever and ever you say here. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Great. Marlene Oneida. Marlene, absent today. Nilton. Present. Great. Serafin. Here I am, Miss. Great. William. William Francisco. William Francisco. William Francisco. William Francisco Flores Murillo, absent. Hola. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Filomena, Luz. Present. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present, present, present. Great. Alejandra Michel. Oh, today she was absent. Beatriz, Adriana, absent. Noé, absent too. Okay, class. Now in group number one. The representative to read your sentences. In group number one, we have Carlos Miguel, Filomena, Jose Mario, and William. Who's going to read the sentences? Only read. Okay. ¿Quién va a leer las oraciones? Please write the report. Mm -hmm. Call to the customer, please. Mm -hmm. Send the email. Uh, check the email, please. Show all a meeting, please. Make a sales report, please. Send individually goals to staff, please. Please supervise the employees. Uh, go to the conference, please type a letter. Excellent, very well, congratulations, because here you use the three imperatives. One using please at the beginning, another one using please at the end, and a comma before the word please, and with no please, okay? Excellent, now the second group. 
Clelia, David, Jonathan, and Juan Ezequiel. Who is going to read? Hi, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, please call supervisor. Please write reports. Please check email. Please clean Blackboard. Please attend a meeting. Please complete the order. Please print the document. Please go to the meeting. Please attend the training. Please get up document. Excellent, congratulations. That team is also a super champion. Okay. Next one, group number three, Blanca Luz, Brandon, Jose Mejia, or Nilton. Who is going to read? Okay. Please send the report. Please tell the queen. Please deliver chips. Chips. Please organize the meetings. Please, please click the office. Please check the social media. Please write the report. Visit the claims, please. Please bring document and please take the picture. Okay, excellent, congrats. Now let's move to the other team. In the other team, we have... Uh, Me, teacher. Ana Mar okay, Ivania. Mm. Please write a check. Organize a meeting, please. Send a report, please. Please call the client. Please clean the office. Please print report. Check inventory, please. Please help me with the presentation. Answer the email, please. Make coffee, please. Wow, make coffee. And the last group, congratulations, Carmen, Edwin, or Serafin. Okay. Open the door, please. Close the door, please. Please sit out. Make this copy, please. Go to the warehouse, please. Let inventory, please, please. Please keep silent. Don't show, please. Wear a face mask, please. Please don't talk. Please don't talk. Excellent. Congratulations. Nice job. And now here, in groups, imagine, for example, let's see, I'm going to imagine Jonathan, okay. I'm going to use my imagination about Jonathan's work. Why? Because as a group, you are going to brainstorm six things your classmate's boss needs him or her to do tomorrow. And then what do you think your classmate's boss wants him or her to do tomorrow? Yo me voy a ubicar en Jonathan porque sé su ocupación. Entonces, probablemente el jefe de Jonathan le va a decir, check, check the software, the software of my computer. Como es el jefe, no sé si le dice please or, o le dice la orden nada más. Yes. And then, because I assume that probably the, his boss is going to tell, hey, check the software of my computer or check the software of my computer. Please. Yeah. De acuerdo. Sí, esto es lo que yo creo que a él le le podrá pedir su jefe, ¿sí? ¿Qué otra actividad le podría pedir el jefe a Jonathan? Y escribo otra actividad. Como ustedes son 
tres o cuatro o cinco en algunos grupos, ahí van completando esta. Ahora sí es el momento de completar esto, pero no es sobre ustedes, es sobre lo que ustedes creen que la orden o instrucción que el jefe o la jefa de uno de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Le va a pedir que haga el día de mañana. ¿Sí? Comprendimos. Ok. Very well, pero dependiendo de la naturaleza del trabajo del compañero o compañera, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, and you are going to generate only one report to share with the class, ¿ok? Y van a generar un reporte para compartir con la clase. Ok, here, breakout rooms, let me see, I'm going to reorganize this. Mm -hmm para que sean menos y trabajen más óptimamente. Here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Okay, go to your groups. Go to your groups. And begin working. Jose Mejia, we need you in your group. Hello, here we are, Nilton, Ana Marlene, Jose Mario, and Jonathan, okay? You say your professional occupation and you write the sentences, okay? Let's begin working. You only have uh, seven minutes for the activity. Bye, Jose Mario. Hacer este... Los que el jefe, el jefe solicite a cada uno. Así es. Pero no a usted, sino que a sus compañeros. Lo que usted cree que el jefe de, de Serafín le va a pedir a él que haga. ¿Ok? O a Dani o a Edwin, ¿sí? Dependiendo de, de, de la naturaleza de su trabajo. ¿Ok? Sí. Es una lluvia de ideas y las consolidan en ese espacio, ¿sí? Hoy sí es a trabajar okay. en este espacio. Ok, bye. Ok. Bye. Bueno, lo primero que a mí me van a preguntar, bueno, que me van a decir mañana. Eh, no, pero es que usted no tiene que decir, Edwin, ellos tienen que adivinar. Ok, ok. Y usted, y luego, y luego cuando ellos le dicen, Edwin, um, for example, uh, call the clients. No, I don't call the clients. No porque no es su función, entonces no se lo pide el jefe, ¿sí? Ellos están haciendo como una lluvia de ideas de lo que suponen su jefe le va a pedir, ¿sí? Ok, ok, ok. Ok, excelente. ok, bye. Ok. Proyecciones, project, project de products. Or... Vamos a ver cómo. Carmen. Ahí es cosa de impuestos, ¿verdad? Cosas. Taxes. Exacto. Uh -huh. Taxes. Taxes, ok. Uh -huh. Clean building eh, window, please. Clean the windows of the building. Uh -huh. Ok. Bye. Clean, clean. clean the windows of the building. Este, the, please deliver checks, 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 checks. Ah, Carlos, Brando, y Ana Verónica, Ana Verónica is here with Carlos. Ah, uh, checks. Remember that the sentences begin with capital letter, ¿ok? Recuerden que las uh, oraciones inician con mayúscula. Ok. Check. Check, deliver, deliver, check. No, al revés, sí. deliver chips. Uh. <coughs> Ajá. 
bathroom. Just please. Okay. Refresh your agenda for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Please. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, una más. Del deliver, deliver the checks. Ahí le hace falta una C, creo, antes de la K. Deliver. Del ah, sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Checks. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Do the cleaning, please. Uh -huh. Do the clean, cleaning. Please. Do the cleaning. Do the Do cleaning. The cleaning. Uh -huh. Do the cleaning, please. Uh -huh. You're... No, do the cleaning, please. Do the cleaning. Uh -huh. Sería limpia. Coma, coma. Uh -huh. Please, please. Uh -huh. No, pero ¿y por qué le quito la, la Y, la G? No, error. Cleaning. error, error. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Cleaning, coma, please. Ok, and after please, a full stop. Punto final. Ok. So done, very well. Okay, verify the, the because later you are going to share with the with the group, okay, in class, in okay. the main session room. Okay. Ya tenemos una de cada una, o le falta alguna de, de las mías. Mencione alguna suya. I attend client for calls. Check inventory, write she, emails, write reports. She attend. I need the I need the coffee cup. I need the coffee. I need the coffee cup. Sería cómo sería? El jefe no me pediría, me pediría. Ajá. Eh, o, 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 este, como. Bring, bring the coffee. Bring the coffee. Or bring a cup of coffee. Bring me a cup of coffee. Bring me, tráeme. Bring me. Eh, teacher. Yes. Es que en este caso, eh, eh, él me dice, casi siempre en las mañanas, este, quiere conservar su trabajo, me dice, Tráigame, tráigase dos, dos tazas de café, una para usted y otra para mí, me dice. Pero de la cafetería que está ahí. Correcto. Ok, so you, uh, he says, bring two bring. cups of coffee. Green. Bring two cups It's, of coffee. Que, que ahí es no trae, traer. Traiga, traer es bring. A, traiga dos tazas de café, pero no le ponemos acá, please, porque le dijo quiere conservar su trabajo. <laughs> so bring two cups of coffee. Eso, uh -huh. bring, okay. Es una orden. Yeah, it is a more than imperative, it is a command, an order, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then you say, okay, here you go, here you go. Sí, aquí tiene. Okay, exactly the phrase from the conversation. Here you go. Así es, y ahí, ahí hablamos de, de, del trabajo del día. Oh, okay. Así es como, como una it taza is, de café. Probably it is an executive coffee. Executive yes. coffee cuando es un café de trabajo. Executive lunch, un almuerzo de trabajo. Uh, okay. Ajá. Okay. Porque almuerzan, pero no con el fin de socializar, sino de continuar con el trabajo. Ajá. Yes. There is an agenda or something like that. So they steal your, your time for lunch, yeah? Or your time yes. for coffee. Okay, let's get back so you can share your sentences. Okay. Thank you. Bueno.
Oh, now Jonathan has a dog pet. <laughs> okay, great. Now class, I need one representative from each group in order to share with the class, okay, your work. The sentences that you have. So here we go. Let's see. In group number one, we have Ana Marlene, Jonathan, Jose Mario, and Nilton. You have to choose one uh, representative. In yes, number Jonathan. two, yes, okay, Jonathan. Okay, great, excellent. In group number three, we have David, Filomena, and William. You choose one representative. Who's going to read? In group number two, we have Danny, Edwin, Jenis, and Serafine. You choose one representative to read the sentences. So in group number two, number one, Jonathan, we are all okay. ears for you. Begin, please. Yes. Um, uh, Jose Mario is, is an assessor. Advisor. What, what do you do, assessor? Uh, sorry, what do you, how do you, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo se dice? Se me olvida esta palabra. I don't know do which say, word. How do you say assessor? Advice, advisor. Advisor. Uh -huh. Okay, Jose Mario is an advisor. And organize a meeting, please. And please call the new customer. Uh, Ana Marlene. Uh, call center. Uh, please call the customer at uh, 1 p.m. o'clock. Um, please supervise the new co-workers. And Nilton Logistics, uh, please write report of the week. Okay. And, and I, uh, please check the, the new web service. This excellent. Okay, excellent. Now in the second group, in group number two, Edwin, Janice, and Serafin. Okay, teacher. Okay, Edwin. Janice, uh, team report, uh, Daniel, team inventory. Serafim visit a client in the afternoon. He Edwin let find corridors in the afternoon. Okay, that's it. Uh, Brandon? Teacher, este, yo me voy a retirar porque voy a salir de emergencia en el, en el ah, vehículo. Okay. okay, great, excellent. So uh, class, uh, thank you for joining, okay? So class, uh, tomorrow we're going to continue with the reinforcement of the imperatives. Congratulations, you did a great job. And now I'm going to ask uh, Jenice, where are you? Jenice, uh, I need you to stay with me, okay? So for the rest of the class, bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you for joining. I appreciate your attendance to the class and your active participation. Have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Continue good working night. in the platform. Good Have you, a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, bye -bye. Good night Miss. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jose Mario. Bye bye. Juan Ezequiel. Bye bye. Luz. Bye bye. Juan. Bye bye. bye David. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye David. Bye bye. David. David. Bye bye. Bye bye, David. Okay, Miss uh, Jenis, here we go. Let's practice pronunciation. Necesito que practiquemos pronunciación, okay? Entonces, David, bye bye. Probably he is frozen. Quizás se quedó congelado, okay? Uh, I'm going to read once. You listen carefully, and later we're going to interact this conversation, okay? Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date, new date for the general meeting right away. 
Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely, absolutely. Now you read Marsha and I read Luke. Okay, you begin. Comienza a leer usted. Microphone. El microphone, okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meetings. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Now I begin and you read Luke, okay? Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Anything else? Anything else. Anything Actually, else? yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Rise away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Uh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Excellent, very well. Now you read it alone, all alone. Ahora usted solita me lo lee todo, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, go ahead, okay. please. Please sing that packet. Yes, ma'am. Do you need an items else? It, anything else. Anything, anything else. Excellent. Anything else. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meetings. Rise away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh. And look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Excellent. Very well. Congratulations. You did a pretty good job. And now here we're going to practice this conversation. Okay. Here we are at page 19. How often do you check your email? every two hours and you well i try to check it as often as i can and how often do you call your clients i often call them once a week on monday but i usually call them on friday to check their order do you call clients yes I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right, okay? Now I read John and you read Anne, okay? Usted es Anne y yo soy John. How okay. often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But, but I usually call them one Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Excellent, now let's switch. You are John and I am Anne. You begin. John, no. how often do you check your email? every two hours and you well i write to check it as often as i can and of 
how hey, often no. and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first the first thing in the morning. I believe it, it is important to have contact with them all time. You are right. Yes, I always call them, call them first thing in the morning. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important. It is, it, it is. is important to have contact with them all the time, okay? So now you are going to read the complete conversation, only you. How often, how often do you check your email? Every two hours and you? Well, I, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call the ones a week on Monday, but but usually call the call thing on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call down call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all, all the time. You are right. Excellent. Now, please repeat after me. I often call them. I often call, call, them, call them. Once a week. Once a week. On Monday. On Monday. I often call them once a week on Monday. I often call the ones no. a week. No, no, no. Listen. I often call them. I often call them. Once a week. I often call them once a week. On Monday. On Monday. I often call them once a week on Monday. I often call them once. I, I often call them once a week on Monday. Excellent. But I usually. But I usually call them. But I usually call them on Friday. On Friday. To check their order. To check their order. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Yes. Yes. I always call them. I always I always call them. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. I always call them first thing in the morning. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important. I believe I believe it is important to have contact to have contacts with them with them all the time. All the time. You are right. You are right. Excellent. Very well. Okay. Now tell me, do you have any problem with the position of the frequency adverbs? ¿Tiene algún problema con la posición de los adverbios de frecuencia que vimos ayer? Eh, sí. Bien. Sí, le dicen de que te repasar. Vaya aquí, fíjese bien. En todas estas oraciones, si se fija en la primera, get up es el verbo. Drives es el verbo. Check. Es, es el verbo, pero le agregamos ese porque es tercera persona de singular. Have a breakfast es la expresión verbal. Uses es el verbo. Okay? 
Work es el verbo, take calls, el verbo, has conferences es el verbo, get late es el verbo. Uh, pero, ¿qué tenemos? El orden es este. Primero va el pronombre personal o el sujeto de la oración, ¿sí? Inmediatamente después va el adverbio de frecuencia, ¿sí? Dependiendo de la frecuencia con la que se realiza determinada actividad, así se utiliza el adverbio, por eso se llaman adverbios de frecuencia. Pero cuando el verbo es cualquier verbo, excepto el verbo to be, usted lo va a ubicar antes de ese verbo. El adverbio de frecuencia va entre el sujeto de la oración y el verbo, ¿sí? Pero pasa distinto cuando el verbo es el verbo to be, porque con el verbo to be lo ubicamos después, ¿sí? Le comparto acá un ejemplo y tenemos, ¿ok? Here. I am always on time for my English class. Okay. Yo siempre estoy temprano o a tiempo para mi clase de inglés. Fíjese acá es diferente. El verbo principal de la oración es el verbo to be, ¿sí? Ser o estar. Entonces, acá tenemos el sujeto el verbo to be, y acá tenemos el adverbio de frecuencia, que va ubicado después del verbo to be, ¿sí? Y si no, y si no, 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 no tuviera el verbo to be, ¿cómo que iría, la... iría, iría como en los ejemplos anteriores, antes del verbo. Entonces sería, I uh, always get up early. Yo siempre me levanto temprano. Acá no tenemos el verbo to be, sino que es get up. Entonces, el adverbio de frecuencia va antes, ¿sí? Eso es lo único. que Usted tiene que identificar. Si mira el verbo to be en presente, am, is, or are, o was, or were, en pasado, entonces el adverbio de frecuencia va después, ¿sí? Y cuando usted no observa el verbo to be en la oración, entonces va antes del verbo, ¿sí? Ajá, okay. va antes del verbo y el otro es... Ajá. ajá, escriba los ejemplos para que lo recuerde. Sí, sí, ahorita, ajá. ahorita. Ajá, porque esa es la clave, ¿sí? Y ahí no se pierde. Y dependiendo sí. de la frecuencia, ¿verdad? Ahí con la realidad de cada quien. Ahí se utilizan los diferentes adverbios de frecuencia, ¿sí? Porque no podemos decir, I get up always early. No, esa no es posición correcta, ¿sí? Y tampoco podemos decir, I always am on time. No, eso es incorrecto. Hay una posición determinada para cada adverbio, ¿ok? Dependiendo del verbo en la oración. Sí, uh -huh. esta es la forma correcta. Cuando uh -huh. no tenemos el verbo to be, el adverbio de frecuencia va antes del verbo. Cuando tenemos el verbo to be en la oración, como este caso, siempre ubicamos el adverbio después del verbo to be. ¿Ok? Cuando tenemos el verbo, uh -huh. el verbo to be. Uh -huh. ajá. El, ver este, uh -huh. el verbo va antes. El adverbio, vaya, vea. Cuando tenemos el verbo to be en la oración, el adverbio va después de ese verbo to be. El adverbio va después. Ajá. Sí. Cuando no hay verbo to be en la oración, el adverbio va antes. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. ¿Ya quedamos clara con la posición? Sí, ya lo anoté acá para, para repasar. Ajá, sí. Ajá. Que no se confunde. Bueno, sí, ah, no se confunde. Ah, correcto, sí, así es. Esto se los expliqué, pero se lo voy a eh, explicar nuevamente cuando hagamos el repaso de los temas de la unidad. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Uh -huh. 
Vale, entonces practicamos pronunciation y the position of the adverbs. Frequency adverbs, ¿verdad? Repasamos sí. esto. Ok. So, Miss, thank you so very much for your time. Ok. And I hope to see you tomorrow in class. Ok. Muchas gracias por el tiempo. Y espero que le haya ayudado. Y espero verla sí. mañana. Ok. Have a good night. Bye bye. Thank you, Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.